This is Chris Yadaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today's video is all about shoes. I get some questions here and there on my social media platforms. What shoes am I wearing? Now, I, I've worn multiple different shoes over the years, but I've got some shoes that are absolutely amazing that I've worn. And I've got some shoes that aren't so amazing that I've worn. So if you wanna know what shoes are great for painters, stay tuned for this video. Okay, here we go. We got some shoes in front of me and this isn't every shoe I've ever worn, but um, we've got the best shoes I've ever worn as a painter and we've got the worst shoes that I've ever worn <laughs> as a painter, indestructible shoes. And um, then I've got, um, there's boots, there's shoes. This is a trail running shoe and absolutely amazing shoe for painting. But I'm gonna just start off, I guess I'll start off with, um, we'll save the worst for the last again. I think that's what I did with the pants. I talked about my favorite pants and I just um, worked it down to the worst pants because I think you wanna know, you know, what I actually wear. These are Keen San Jose uh, work boots. And um, I do gotta say, um, to start off this video, all these shoes were sent for me for free. And I've never talked to anybody from the company. Um, I've received some emails and they said, can we send you some shoes for free? And I said, well, sure, why not? And so I was sent everything here for free, including the ones on my feet. Um, I was not sent the Solomons for free, actually. I bought these at REI. But, um, you know, so some of you might think, well, my opinion is going to be biased. My opinion is not biased. I'm not going to say anything good and I'm not going to say anything bad about shoes unless that's what my experience was. I was not paid by any of these companies. I've had no communication. They don't even know that I'm making the video. So when I got these shoes, the Keens, they were sent to me. They um, they were actually very soft. Felt like they were actually broken in already. There was no break in time on these shoes. Extremely comfortable right out of the box. These are soft toed uh, work boots. So if you require a steel toe, uh, these wouldn't be for you. But Keen does have options with steel toes that I will actually show you here. The sole on these things, I was on a lot of roofs with these things. Things. They actually grip on roofs really good and they grip on the ground really good. And compared to some other shoes I'll talk about here, um, not so great of grip. But these shoes, laces, never had to replace the laces once. They are just amazing. They're still not even worn. Um, the leather's you know, pretty soft, pretty worn, but the sole is um, extremely worn now. I mean, you could actually continue wearing these for a long time, but they started to bother my feet because they're broken down you know, a little bit on the inside. But they're uh, you know, several years old. I'll leave the price because I didn't buy any of these shoes. We're gonna leave the price right across the screen so you can know what these things actually cost. But for a painting shoe, um, I would, they were came like oiled and I washed them like with a saddle soap and stuff like that. And, and I constantly cleaned uh, any paint and stuff on them, off of them because I didn't want them to look all painted and dirty. But there they are. This was a great shoe uh, for a painter right here. Absolutely love the shoe. This is the favorite shoe that I've ever worn as a painter or favorite boot, I should say, not necessarily shoe. Because I got, um, when it comes to shoes, the favorite shoes that I worn uh, right here, the Solomon trail running shoes, the X ultras right here. So that was a, a great option. The Keen San Jose right here. And um, it's got a slip resistant sole also, um, all leather shoe and stitching still is amazing. No stitching is broken down. These things have uh, stood the test of time, I guess you can say. Now, I'll move on to uh, another pair of shoes that I got on and I actually, I'm actually wearing them right now. Well, I guess I'll just take it off and you can actually see it. So I don't have to like hold my foot up. And these are called Rock Roosters right here. So I've got two pairs from Rock Rooster and this pair right here, um, I actually weighed all these shoes. I'm gonna give you, when I get to this pair of boots, I'm gonna talk about weight. And this is a pretty heavy shoe. Um, I haven't weighed this, so I'm gonna go take a minute and go weigh it. But I actually 
like this shoe. It's extremely comfortable. The sole is extremely comfortable. It's got a dual density sole on it. It's, um, does it, it says oil and slip resistant. And um, I'll talk about that, but it's this is a comfortable shoe. One thing I'm not a big fan of, the toe box is really big. It is a soft toe, um, soft toe on it. It doesn't have a steel toe or a carbon toe in it. So if you require that, um, then, you know, that's, um, you know, you have to go shop for another shoe, but uh, it's, it is pretty dang heavy. And I'll get back to the weight on that. Significantly more heavy than the Keens. I think it's lighter. Uh, than this shoe, which is um, basically a lead boat. But um, the Rock Roosters, I've never heard of them before, and I don't even know where they come from. But we'll give you that information. We'll try to find out, put it you know, down here below. I really like the look of this shoe. Um, I like the clean toe, that it doesn't have any stitching you know, across the, you know, the top of the toe right here. And they just, they look like really nice work boots. And I'll talk a little bit about, you know, looking nice. Now, I'm really big on looking professional and acting professional at all times. So um, pants are very important to me. Shirts are very important to me. And shoes are very important to me. Uh, when my pants get holes in them, they go away. When my shoes get holes in them, they go away. I'm not going to wear ratty clothes because I want to look professional. If you look professional, you're going to be able to require a higher wage and ultimately make more money. And and win more bids if you look professional. So go show up and look clean and professional. Even if I was to go do bids, I wouldn't wear um, my actual dirty work shoes to go a bit, do a bid in between jobs or after the jobs, I'd throw on a clean pair. One negative thing I'm gonna say about this shoe right here is it is winter time here in Idaho and these things um, are not slip resistant on ice or snow. They I have um, slipped and slid and almost fell on my rear uh, multiple times. So the sole itself is um, pretty slick on ice. So you got to be really, really careful. I do like the color. The color looks um, pretty cool. Um, I kind of like the, the color of these a little bit um, better than the darker color right there. But uh, it's got one it's strong, um, super strong. Um, laces i like the lacing system they cinch up nice and tight but two drawbacks they're extremely heavy so walking around a lot you do eventually feel that and um, not very slip resistant on ice or um, slick concrete or anything so there they are those are the rock roosters i'll go take and weigh those and we're going to give you a weight all right, so the Rock Roosters, we put them on the scale. They are 31 ounces. They are almost two pounds. Um, two pounds is that, yeah, almost two pounds for a pair of shoes. So you're lugging around uh, quite a bit of weight. And I'll just get um, onto the weight of the shoes so you just get an idea. So 31 ounces, these shoes, the Keens right here, uh, one of the lightest shoes on the table here, these are only 20 ounces. So we're talking a whole nother 11 ounces um, of weight you're actually carrying around. When you're working all day long, it does make a huge difference. So to give you an idea, the lightest shoes I believe we got here um, are the uh, Solomon X, the X Ultras, and these are 14 ounces. Now, just to give you an idea of weight, uh, we'll get on to these shoes. These weighed right here, 30, seven ounces so we're talking a whole nother six ounces heavier you know with this shoe so you're over two pounds with this shoe like two pounds five ounces somewhere right in that range that is one heavy shoe and since i'm talking about this shoe and weight um i really like the look of this shoe um i like the color of the shoe it's got the same sole so when i'm walking in it the sole is very comfortable same sole so it's going to be um problem slipping on ice um, it is a steel toed uh, boot so that's why it is going to weigh more but that doesn't justify having uh, this big literally a brick on the bottom of your feet and I warm around and oh my gosh there's no way I can work in these things day in and day out I mean I guess you know your calves would get big your quads would get big and so maybe that would help me 
in CrossFit. I don't know. Um, but I, I'm not going to sit there and wear shoes that are that heavy. They've got to do something when it comes down to cutting down the weight of the shoe because nobody's going to want a shoe that is that heavy. Um, it's got the same type of lace, lacing system. Um, it's all leather, um, same shoe. It's probably going to be extremely durable too. But um, once again, uh, weight is a big issue. I am never in my life going to wear a shoe that heavy, especially at my age. So those went right into my closet after wearing them for um, several days um, and just being exhausted. I don't know, just, I mean, just lifting your feet, just, you know, up and down, um, climbing up and down ladders, climbing up and down roofs is just, it just ain't happening. So um, I'll get on to, um, I'll go away from boots a little bit. I talked about three boots and um, we'll talk about shoes. And so um, I wore shoes um, for a lot of years till I um, crossed over to wearing boots. So we're going to give you a little bit of my opinion about shoes now. So for about, I don't know, maybe 12, 15 years, uh, I um, discovered these a long time ago and uh, from REI and I would buy them by, from REI and I literally have probably 12 pairs in brand new boxes in um, my closet because I like them so much. And one of the major reasons why I like them so much is their laceless shoes right here because I couldn't stand tying laces and I still can't stand tying laces because you're going in and out of customers' houses all the time. We don't wear our shoes in the houses. So you're constantly taking your shoes on and off. It's easy just to slip on these shoes. They are a super light, um, durable shoe. They're Gore-Tex, so they're waterproof. So when you're um, cleaning your brushes and rollers and stuff, your socks and feet aren't going to get wet. Um, if you're working in the wintertime out in the snow, they're not going to get wet. They're super warm because they're Gore-Tex shoes. They're ultra light um, shoes and because they're designed to actually be trail running shoes. But the other thing is on roofs, these things, um, amazing traction. These are the best traction shoes that I've ever worn on roofs. And we've worked on some super steep roofs before. Um, I do have to say they don't last very long. I mean, I would go, that's why I had so many pairs of them, but, and I still have so many pairs because I now wear boots only and not not uh, tennis shoes. You'll see me occasionally wear tennis shoes. So I don't want to say I never do. I wear them on certain occasions when I'm during doing during doing certain things. But um, the they're uh, Solomon's made by Solomon. Um, I and it's kind of interesting because I used to ride Solomon snowboards for years, and they made the best snowboards for a long time. But this is a great great shoe if you want an athletic shoe. If you want to look professional, neat, they have all kinds of different colors and they have different styles in the same, um, same trail running shoe. And they have them where they're not Gore-Tex, so they're a little bit cooler, a little bit lighter in the summertime and breathe more. But then once again, they're not waterproof. And I really like the waterproof. Absolutely love the speed lace uh, system on these shoes. Um, these, uh, I think they're, you know, anywhere from 90 to 120 dollars what i pay for them and the soles you know is they're super comfortable out of the box but they do break down pretty fast i think i was going through them you know working daily going through them like every three to four months so that is um right there shoes now we're going to get on we got a couple more, more pair of boots and then we've got the indestructible shoes i think right here all right, the next pair of shoes I want to talk about is the Bonanzas. And now I got to say, th these are out of all the shoes, the coolest looking shoes that I got here. These um, are amazing. Uh, they're, these are a split sole. They're extremely comfortable. Um, a slip resistant, oil resistant sole on them. But the super durable, super thick leather on them. Now, I just got sent these shoes. So... I don't have 
a whole lot of opinion on them yet. These are, they're pa all padded on the inside, which I really like. So on this is just straight leather on inside of these shoes. There's no additional padding. So I think the comfort on these things, um, I slipped them on and just wore them one time out as a dress shoe. And I, I liked them a lot. Just that one time wearing them, very comfortable. The insole on these things is, I'll pull it out, an extremely thick insole. So very, very comfortable. But along with all this comfort um, in thick insoles and stuff comes um, some weight. And the weight of these shoes are 29 ounces. So um, that's not the lightest shoe. So it's a whole nother nine ounces um, heavier than the Keen San Jose's right there. So um, this is, uh, once again, the, the Bonanza. I don't, um, I'm not sure who made these. This just, I've never even heard of them before until this company contacted me wanting to send me the um, shoes. But I really like the multi-colored soles on them. I think they look pretty cool. I like the dark um, kind of suede looking leather on them. It has different laces. Um, this is a typical smaller um, boot lace on there. It's got super strong um, eyelets in there. Um, really Really, really heavy stitching when you compare that stitching on this boot compared to this boot um, a lot lighter stitching so this stitching is going to last a lot longer um, it's uh, stitched on the top it, right here so it doesn't have the round the round smooth toe that I really like on that one sh um, shoe so this one's gonna take some time some evaluation you know to um, give you an opinion on it it's uh, made in Mexico it says on the bottom so um, the Bonanza will give you um, some information where you can purchase those shoes they've got uh, a whole bunch of options for shoes to buy too it's even got um, heavy padding on the tongue so they're you know if you're wearing these shoes you know day in and day out you know it's just going to be a lot more comfortable for you um, even as heavy as this shoe is there's no padding on the inside there's some padding on the tongue right here the um, sole it's um, kind of a lighter you know insole but it's got a really thick padded heel on the back right there so We'll go on to another pair of shoes, and this is getting back to, these are Keen San Jose's. These are Keen Chicago's, and so these are a brand new shoe, brand new style that just came out, and I'll tell you a little bit about why I like these shoes now. So here's the Keen Chicago's, and I got sent these, and I've started wearing them. Um, I haven't you know, worn them for a long period of time, but, typically like keen keen shoes all keen shoes like out of the box are just amazingly comfortable and don't have any break in time this is a, a really cool pair of shoes i really like these shoes they're not super light um, they're five ounces heavier than these shoes but there's a lot more padding on these shoes extremely extremely comfortable um, they're just a little bit different styling on them they've got a lot of padding up at the top but the soles if you're um, concerned about slipping and um, on roofs and stuff like this, these are gonna give you a little bit better traction on um, certain type of roofs and stuff. And just a, a really good quality shoe. I absolutely love the comfort of these things. I do out of all these shoes um, other than uh, our trail running shoes, the sole on the bottom of them is going to give you better grip and better traction on steep roofs and um, stuff that we're climbing on day in and day out, you know, when we're actually um, painting. But heavy duty laces, um, great, it's all leather shoe, just like keen quality other than this kind of like carbon material, you know, in the middle. But um, it's keen, every pair of keen shoes that I've ever worn, you know, has extremely comfortable um, insoles. And um, here's their insole right here, keen utility insole right here. And um, it's a great boot. So I, once again, I've been, um, been on tons and tons of roofs with them. You can see they're fairly new. So if they're a new shoe that has come out um, this year, I believe. And so, um, there it is, the Keen Chicago. Last but not least is the indestructible shoe.
So here's the indestructible shoe and this shoe, uh, they sent me a couple pairs of them and this shoe has to be one of the most uncomfortable shoes right out of the box you'll ever wear. It's not a super heavy shoe. It's 17 ounces. So it's the light, one of the next to the lightest shoes that we have here. It does have a steel toe in it. And one thing you'll notice when you put these things on and you start wearing them, as soon as you start wearing them, as soon as you start walking around them, the steel toe cuts into the top of your toe. And um, if you wanna be missing toes at the end of the day, these might be the shoes that you want. And so, and you could think, well, it's only my toes that it was happening on, but Tyler actually tried the shoes on and it happened to him too. So I don't think they've got really the design of um, the steel toe, you know, really down and down well. Um, and, and I guess I'm not surprised because this shoe looks like you would find it at your local dollar store. This sole, this is about the cheapest insole you'll ever see in a shoe, but just the flimsy nature of this shoe is, um, and just how it's built, it's just inside of it. You can just see glue um, all over in the shoe and it just spilled all over in there. The material, um, I'm not sure, what it, we're, we are actually gonna put this thing to the test because it says indestructible. So we're gonna see if we can destroy it. Now, just because you can run the toe over and not squash your toes with a car, um, doesn't mean it's a shoe that you should buy but the sole is just extremely flimsy, rubbery. I mean, maybe that would give you some grip and traction on a roof, but this thing is, it, it, it's just not a great shoe. I mean, it's your, um, to me, like a typical $10 shoe. And when I put it on, it just doesn't look nice. It doesn't look professional. And um, of course I haven't worn it a long time because it's so uncomfortable. The sole is extremely uncomfortable and squishy, but the, the metal toe, um, steel toe just cuts into your toe like really, really bad. Um, and then just talking about, you know, toes once again, the Chicago right here, the, the Chicago actually has, it is a little bit heavier of a shoe, but one thing I didn't say, it doesn't have a steel toe, but it has a carbon toe. In in it. And so that's an important feature about this shoe. If you require um, a shoe that has a protective toe on it, this can be an option for you. Now, carbon is lighter than like a steel toe. I'm not sure like um, the durability and OSHA requirements and stuff like that. You know, if carbon will take the place of steel on the job site, you'll want to research that. But this has got, you know, a protective toe. I've never as a painter in my entire career dropped anything on my toe and injured my toe, but you are carrying five gallon buckets around. If you drop the five gallon bucket on your foot, um, that would hurt and that could break some toes. And so that's where something like this Chicago could actually, you know, come into play. And that's for going out and doing bids, a professional looking work boot. That thing looks extremely nice. Out of all the shoes here, it's one of the nicest looking shoes if you're going out and doing bids, if you just had a shoe doing bids in. But, you know, here's, you know, shoes, this gives you um, some ideas of some shoes I've worn and I uh, won't wear. And, um, you know, we'll give you some information on pricing and stuff like that, websites where you can find these shoes and you can go out and make your own decision on whether you should buy them. Shoes, shoes, and more shoes. So there you have it. If you've got a favorite, I mean, Obviously, this is a microscopic portion of the shoes that are available out there um, that I've tested and used. You know, let me know what shoes you wear or boots you wear. Leave it down in the comment section below. Give a shout out to your favorite shoe, how much they cost. We, um, I would love to test out some other shoes, and I know our viewers would probably like you know more advice other than my advice on shoes and what's out there and what's available for painters. Um, what's 
roofs, if you're working on steep roofs, um, asphalt shingle roofs, tile roofs, metal roofs, you know, what's a great shoe, you know, for those type of conditions. If you're just doing interior painting, what's a good shoe for um, those type of conditions? How do you clean your shoes? How do you uh, keep the paint off? I know um, one of my employees, you know, he wore tennis shoes. He would spray paint his shoes black like once a month and he would have a brand new pair of shoes once a month just using spray paint it's funny because it actually worked so um spray paint your shoes and now they go from white to black and they look clean and fresh again but um hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have give me a thumbs up give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel it's free easy to do and um hit the notification bell that way you get notified you know when we come out with our next video we'll see you out